so formal letters in 10th standard and 12th standard in both the classes we are studying a few formal letters letter to the editor complaint letter uh, order placing letter inquiry letter so many uh, formal letters we are learning today we are going to discuss about the letter to the editor how to write a letter to the editor when it comes in the exam so you have to keep in your mind certain points to get marks uh, what is the purpose of writing a letter to express one's opinion isn't it or uh, to express one's opinion in a wide range of issues that is one purpose of writing a letter or it need not be to express it can be to share some of your observations to share some of your ideas so this can be the purpose of writing a letter to the editor or normally a formal letter so in this one when you are writing the letter you have to be very conscious about the vocabulary the language ability that you are going to use in the letter as we have already said this is a formal letter so the language should be very formal the language which you are using in the letter should be very formal always remember it the language should be very formal so use the formal language then what what is next avoid again avoid repetition of ideas you can put forward some ideas but again and again the same idea is repeated in the letter it will lose the, the letter will lose the authenticity of the letter so avoid repetition of idea you can put your own ideas into the letter you can give your own opinions you can give your own suggestions but avoid another point avoid biased language biased in the sense you should you shouldn't be speaking for someone or you shouldn't be speaking against someone you can put forward your own opinions and your own suggestions when you are writing a letter so that can be so formal language avoid repetitions you can put forward your own opinion but avoid biased language then other thing we are writing this letter during our examination so what is the other thing that you have to keep in your mind word limit definitely the word limit otherwise you will lose your time and you will lose your mark definitely for the literature power part you won't get enough time to complete your paper so word limit has to be kept in your mind so these are the general things that you have to keep in your mind when you are writing so you are asked to express your opinion sometimes you will be asked to share your observation whatever be the uh, uh, topic in the question first you read the question properly and understand what is asked in the question second you read what is the topic given in the question about what so what are you supposed to write and think and chalk down the points in the left side corner of your paper somewhere then uh, arrange it according to the priority the point which has more importance should come first then the second one then the third one arrange it don't take too much time for all these things arrange it then start writing your letter okay when you are writing your letter you have to remember about the format of the letter all each and every formal letter has a format so what is a format first thing is you have to write the sender's address sender's address will be given in the question itself you need not write the sender's name anywhere in the address so you need not mention sender's name when you are writing the sender's address address if it is given in the question write it otherwise you can write street name place name and place that's enough now leave one line and write the date if it is 2nd june 2020 you can either write 01/06/2020 or 2nd june comma 2020 that is the way you have to write the date and always remember to write the date of the examination 
the day on which you are writing the examination the same date you can write in the answer sheet then what is next next one is receiver's address definitely who is the receiver here it is the editor the person is the editor of the newspaper so you can write the editor in the next column write the newspaper's name and the next line you write the place new delhi or kerala or whichever is given in the question you just copy that place you just copy that newspaper's name otherwise a daily you can write that is enough then next after again leave one line and write subject so what is the problem uh, mentioned in the question that is going to be our subject after writing and subject should be short and crispy shouldn't be more than six or seven words after writing the subject now what you have to do is again leave one right line and write the salutation and salutation is sir or madam or madam or sir depending upon if it is given in the question you can write otherwise generally you can write sir write the salutation and again in the next line you are going to write the content content can be bifurcated into three or four paragraphs in the first paragraph you can state the problem what is the problem mentioned in the question so it can be stated in the first paragraph now the second pro uh, paragraph you can state the causes of the problem causes of the problem and in the next paragraph you can mention the problems means the outcome of the problem so first paragraph statement of the problem second paragraph it can be the causes of the problem and for third paragraph it can be the cause or means outcomes of the problem and the last paragraph it can be some suggestions or solutions from your side there should be some suggestion or solution from your side when you are writing a letter to the editor in your examination it's a must so three or four paragraphs should be there in your content part okay so salutation dear sir no need of dear sir sir or madam or madam or sir okay so sir generally you can write sir sir then you are starting to write you are beginning to write the content first paragraph statement of the problem second pro uh, paragraph causes of the problem third paragraph outcome of the problem and fourth paragraph it can be uh, some suggestions or solutions from your part and conclude the letter then you have to write the subscription yours sincerely or yours truly then the, then write the sender's name you need not sign over there you can write the sender's name many a times it will be given in the question itself so this is the format of the letter sender's address date uh, at uh, receiver's address subject salutation content in three or four paragraphs and then subscription and the sender's name this is the format and uh, the mark distribution for the question definitely it is for content and the expression so what are things you have written over there when you are writing remember do not repeat the ideas repetition should be avoided and language should be formal all these things remember when you are writing the letter content then uh, uh, other part mark will be there for expression expression means accuracy grammatical correction fluency of your language for all these things there will be marks so for the content and for the expression there will be marks so when you are writing a letter remember all these things don't see the url don't forget to take down the notes i have given the format of the letter and a sample letter in the notes and certain questions also are given on, over there then do for uh, do remember to write the test let us see again in our next session till then bye